Okay, we've already gone over Kepler's laws, and now we've got an example problem to do. Uh, for this, we are given the speed at which Halley's Comet uh, is going when it's closest to the sun, and that's four, uh, 54 kilometers per second. And its closest approach is 0.57 astronomical units. Um, and we're given the speed that it's going when it's farthest away from the sun, and that's 0.879 kilometers per second. Now, we want to be able to find the uh, time that it takes for Halley's Comet to go all the way around. And so the easiest way to do this is to figure out what the distance from the sun to Halley's Comet is when it's at its farthest point, uh, and then add that to uh, the distance at the first point, divide them by two, and then plug that into Kepler's third law. So, let's get started. Now, with Kepler's, uh, with uh, Kepler's second law, we found out that uh, the amount of time that, uh, the amount of area that is swept out by the planet to the sun, that line, uh, and any um, amount of time will be constant no matter where it is around. So basically you know that if the comet is going this far, uh, this fast, it's this far, so the sub 1 times radius sub 1, it'll be equal to the sub 2 velocity over here times radius right here. Now, if we divide by the sub 2, we get what we would need for r sub 2. So let's bring out a calculator. And then punch in these numbers. So let's see there. And so fifty four times point five seven. Long calculator. Five seven and divided by point eight seven nine will be the radius of two. So about thirty five point zero. Uh, astronomical units. So, 35.0 A B. So, that's 35.0. Now, we just add these two distances up. And divide by two. So we have thirty five point six astronomical units divided by two, which equals seventeen 
point eight astronomical which would be Can you write the third law equation? TP squared equals some constant times radius cubed. And the constant, when we're talking about the sun, we're using astronomical units in years. Uh, is one. So we'll have let's say uh t p is equal to the square root of a q well times the constant but the constant is just one. So Number wise, we then have okay, seventeen point eight. Then we cube it, and we square root that. Not equal. 75.1 so the period of rotation of Halley's Comet equals 